Alright everybody, so today we're just going to look at simple um, notions regarding graphing. And we'll begin with just linear equations. So linear equations, again, are of the form y is equal to mx plus b. Now in this form, this is called slope-intercept form, where m is our slope, b is our y-intercept. And these are fairly like the form that we're going to see most often when we're dealing with graphing uh, linear equations. Now, below we have some examples of lines, of just generic, generic lines. Um, so we'll begin with this one right here on the bottom. Notice that the line keeps on increasing, and so if you were to calculate the slope, the slope would always be positive in this line. Now, so whenever we're dealing with a positive slope, we know that it's going to graph and it's going to go upward in the positive direction. Remember that this direction over here is positive positive. So you see it's going to stay in this kind of quadrant. It's going to keep on um, increasing. Now, when we're dealing with a negative slope, um, notice that this one is kind of flipped. Um, it's like an, almost like a mirror image of the first graph that we have over here, and this one's always decreasing. So this is a negative slope. Next, above, we're dealing with um, either a slope of zero or undefined. So if we were given a slope of zero, we're dealing with a horizontal line. So this line is always going to cut through the y-axis. So usually, to tell, we're going to have something like this. y is equal to some number. So the number can be any value. So that's going to tell you where this value crosses the y-axis. And over to the right, we have a slope that is undefined. Now, whenever you're dealing with an undefined slope, you're going to be you're given an equation where x is equal to some number. Because as you can see, this crosses the x-axis at some given point. With that, we'll move along and we'll look at uh, graphing in further detail.